Hi everyone, I recently made a video to show you how to add a favicon into an experience cloud site. And if you don't know, a favicon is that tiny little icon. If you look at the, the top left of your tab, depending on the browser you're in, that little picture up there. I will link that video at the bottom of this video, but I also wanted to show you on Experience Cloud how to get the name of the tab. So this one says Jennifer Olson Portfolio. I'm on my home page. If I click on uh, my portfolio where it says projects, it also says projects. Now I've personalized those myself. So I wanted to show you how I did that. So if you're in Experience Cloud, I'm going to go into the builder. You do have to have some familiarity with using Experience Cloud. But um, once you are in the builder, an easy way to do that is I actually, if you hit preview, it's easier to navigate around and you click on it. So I go to my home tab or my home page, go back to builder. And over here, um, it shows that I am on the home page and I go to page properties. I click on that and right here, right what whatever you put in that title will show. So this page initially was called home and it said home here, but I changed that because I didn't want it to say home. I wanted it to name what I am. So it's the same thing if I go to any other page and right now I do want to rename a page. I have one called presentations. When I created the page, I actually called it speaking engagements, which is what shows in the tab. If I show you over here and I go to presentations to speaking engagements, it says speaking engagements and does not match what I have here. So I do want to correct that. I'm back in my builder. So I went to my page that said speaking engagements. I'm going to go back to the builder. I'm going to click on page properties. And when I originally named it, it just brought the um, name down there. But because I want it to match what I have on my site, I'm going to name it presentations. And um, just for future reference to whatever you put in the description, and it doesn't always work on a developer site, which is what I have, but if you have an actual experience cloud site, say you've built it, you're using it for a business, whatever you put in the description will show up when you do a Google search and land on that page. So if I, um, right now I left presentations in there. If I go back to my home page and back into the builder, you can see that I did put in a description, but it doesn't always show up, like I said, in a developer org, but keep that in mind. So now that I changed the, uh, the name of my page to match this, which is presentations, we'll look one more time. I click on properties. I can put it right in there. Okay. Um, and I can actually change the URL. So let's just change that to presentations. So it matches. There it goes. It matches. And I'll just change the name of my page to presentation. And this is common when you create a page and then you name it before you're really ready to do anything about it. So now I've got it called presentations. You can see it changed there. Um, right now, when I go to presentations, it shows up up here as speaking engagements and in my URL, but I'm going to change all that. So I'm going to hit publish. Publish is the same thing as the save button in experience cloud. It says it's ready. We're going to just double check. Sometimes it takes a little bit, um, because re right now it's not quite ready. So I'm waiting for it to change over. Let's hit presentations here again, and now it's ready. So it just takes a few minutes. So it, now it says presentations here. I see presentations in the URL and that matches what my site says. So we'll show you one more time. I'm on the home page, which is named Jennifer Olson portfolio. Um, I actually changed this right here, so it's uh, more in line. I'll do a video on how I did that. And then I go to presentations and everything is now in line with what I have. Um, I will add a link at the bottom to see my portfolio and how to do your favicon.